Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben, aka No Shins. I make videos about my drug use, including prescription and illicit drugs. I also make videos on remote control cars, that is when I have one that works. And at the moment I've sold all my remote control cars and I'm getting a new one in three weeks. Between three weeks and four weeks, I should have another one. I'm looking at the Kyosho Inferno 3 BE. And these are pretty powerful remote control cars. My plan is to replace the 4S. Uh, the, the, the ESE, the electronic speed controller that comes with it, which can only take up to 4S LiPo. I want to replace this with a, Mars, a Castle Mamba Monster Max 6S. So it can run 6S LiPo. And to do this, I'll get I'll purchase two 3S LiPo 6 batteries and put them in the car and then it'll be a Kaisu Inferno Neo 3 Vision 3.0 running on 6S LiPo. I know other people that have done this before and they've got something like 85 mile an hour out of their remote control car it's only a 1 and 8 scale buggy it's not like it's 1 and 5 scale so this is very very fast for something you're controlling with your hand and remotely you're not sitting in it like a car that you drive on the road you could actually drive a remote control car side by side from a car on the road and that uh, follow the remote control car and see how fast it goes by looking at your speedo. A lot of new cars have a digital speedometer. Anyway, this video is meant to be about my how I'm feeling today, and I'm feeling very, very good. I'm feeling upbeat in an upbeat mood. I'm not on any drug at all. I've combated crack, I've combated heroin, I kicked the weed into such. And I no longer smoke, uh, no longer take and bomb speed. So I'm doing really well at the moment. I hope you're pleased for me. I know all my channel, all my members of my subscription list, all are happy that I'm away from illicit drugs now. I've still got uh, prescription drugs to be such as diazepam, light milligram, 10 milligrams a day of diazepam. I take two yellows at night to sleep. I think I'll always need something to help me sleep now. I've come so far. I wouldn't mind getting back on pre-gabalin it helps my anxiety a lot and I get really anxious out in crowds. Say when I get a bus into Holtrary and I see my parents and I get anxious on the bus doing that. I'm doing that with my face, I can't help it. I need clonazepam, according to someone, to help me stop doing that to relax my forehead muscles. So I look into this. When I next see my GP, that's general practitioner, i.e., my doctor, my personal doctor, I mention to him and my grimacing face is happening when I make YouTube videos and also it happens when I'm not, when I'm outside smoking a rolled up it happens as well people must think I don't like them, they're grimacing but I am feeling very upbeat today in a very chilled out mood I only drank a bottle of cider last night, a two litre bottle of cider which is something like 3.52 pints, is that right? I, re re I had that in my brain from years ago when I knew how much was to a bottle of cider water in pints. I think it's 3.52 pints. So you say three and a half pints in a bottle of cider, and I was drinking four cans before that I got the bottles. So that is really good for me. Cutting down half a can a day, I guess that's good. And I double chin my goosey, and I walked 10 kilometers or 11 kilometers yesterday. I went on a very long walk with my mother along the coast path in North Cornwall. We nearly walked like, a long, long way on the coast path, and in some places it was rocks, 
So we had to climb up and down, and then I leave fell over loads of times, which was a bit annoying because the rocks were a bit wet and slippery. And we walked on the beach as well. Beach really sandy, so oh yeah, headphones fell. Beach was very sandy. Like it should be, beaches are meant to have sand on them. But this got in my shoe, and it's very irritating. I'm to keep taking my shoes off. My mum likes to say it keeps taking her shoes off as well to clean, to get all the sand and mud out of her shoe because we're walking on some dodgy, dirty tracks and sandy tracks as well. Even some of the tracks had sand on them. Anyway, my schizophrenia is a lot better today. I haven't had one voice, but I do come back and on later in the day. I think the quetarpin is finally in my system after after about two weeks of taking 400 milligrams. I take 200 milligrams in the morning at 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 a.m. And I take another 200 milligrams at bedtime when I go to sleep about 10.30 p.m. So I, I leave about 11 hours between doses. But it suits me just fine. I take my quetiapine in the morning with my methadone and with my bisoprolol fumarate. Bisoprolol fumarate is a beta blocker. Blood pressure pill, 2.5 milligrams of it. That's This is to help control my blood pressure, to make my blood flow better in my veins and so that I don't have high blood pressure any longer. So to lower my blood pressure really. That's basically the reason I'm on bisoprolol fumarate in order to lower my blood pressure, which is quite high. I think the reason for my blood pressure being high is because I drink alcohol quite a lot. Four cans a day isn't loads of alcohol, but it's still enough, enough to help me get to sleep at night. Anyway, this is why I drink it, really. So I sleep, but I'm on quetiapine now, and a small dose of diazepam, so I can sleep very easily now with no problem at all no trouble at all getting to sleep i have to lie there for about three minutes my eyes closed and concentrating on my breathing of course like i always say to people to do and when i've done this i can actually fall asleep after three or four minutes of lying there we've got to ignore by mr p if he makes a noise next door to me and so much most nights now it's been good, I'm not making a racket, so I'm able to get some shut eye at night. Very good shut eye, yes. I really appreciate him being quiet at night. He makes up for it in the daytime. I've got quite a lot of stubble back now. You need to have a shave. Grey hairs. Grey. I'm 36 on the 26th of this month of May, in case you don't know what month it is. 26th of the 5th, 84, that's my birthday, birth date, sorry, my born on the May 26th, 1984. Anyway, I'm not really craving crack today, not really that much, and herring, I haven't thought about it once today. That's it, the first time I've thought about it, when I just said the word then. I haven't done heroin for 16 weeks in a day. And I haven't done crack cocaine for 15 and a half weeks plus one day. So 15 weeks and 15 days off crack. Or if you like, it's be called free based cocaine. What would you rather call it? Free based cocaine or crack? If I call it free based cocaine, will you understand what I mean? Please answer this in the comments as well. But I know what free base is, and I hope you do too. It's the same as crack, it's the same thing we desire. A different name for the same thing we desire. Like I call it white, as the coat, as the speed down here is actually pink champagne. Usually, you get pink champagne for speed here. White speed is still quite common, quite common in the. Uh, in, in the uh, throughout the rest of the country, even in Barnstable in Norfolk, we still get white speed sometimes. It's just a bit harder to find than pink champagne. Pink champagne is the strongest amphetamines you can get, but it didn't have much effect on me when I took it last time. I don't know why people buy speed really, it's not actually that good. 
when it works well and your heart progresses in a pound out of your body, then it'll keep you awake for like three or four nights or a gram. But when it does next to nothing, like it doesn't have much effect on me unless I take a lot, like a fourth of an ounce of it or something, seven grams of speed that has a lot of effect on me. Once I, I took a half ounce in a day, like in a, two hours I took a half ounce, that's why eating and eating it, and I was off my head. I got drug tested back when I went back to the hospital because I was sexing at the time, and I absconded. I went into town with my mate Christian, and I split out of him in town, went off and found some drug addicts in the, in the church, church walk in Barnstable, and I got some speed and some weed off one of these druggies. Not a proper druggie, just a speed and weed, weed tailor, really, a stoner. I used to be a stoner. And I have no problems with stoners. I have no problems with heroin addicts. I have no problems with crack addicts at all. I say that everyone get on with what they feel like they want to do, wherever they want to do it. As long as it doesn't disturb me, I have zero problems with it. How would you like that to be your friend? If you do heroin, good on you. As long as you don't share a needle with me, I don't have a problem with you. Just keep your heroin away from me, please. If you do smoke heroin, please make sure I'm not in the same room as you. So I don't really want to end up with this in my system. Because I have drug tests and I see the doctors and then they, they find heroin in my bloodstream. I can cut, cut me off from methadone. So I'd rather not smoke crack out of a pipe used with heroin like I have done before because the doctor picked it up and I was to explain that it's a pipe that I, someone else had used for crack and heroin and this is why I have tested positive for heroin my church worker Jimmy fully understands this some people wouldn't understand it but Jimmy is a good bloke because he does understand when this happens so someone else that I was hanging around with had smoked brown through the same pipe. I haven't touched brown in four, five months now. God, it's going quick in it, five months, Jesus Christ. It's like yesterday that I was doing crack, and that's 15 and a half weeks ago. This, this time is going very, very quickly for me. I'm enjoying every minute of it. I just want some more subscribers to my YouTube channel, really, and I'll be happy as Larry then. Very happy, happy I'll be if I get more subscribers to this channel. Anyway, am I not on Slap? My eyes look like they are sometimes, like really, really not open for really. But this is just what Chris Tyrepin does to me, which is so drowsy. I'm in a good mood today, very good mood. Because I'm not thinking about drugs, I'm thinking about gardening and I think about laptops. I want a new laptop computer after I've got a radio control car. The remote control car I want to get is called a Kyoso Neo, no, sorry, Kyoso Inferno Neo version 3.0. And it's brushless electric, not petrol, not nitro. Brushless electric cleaner, better for the environment. LiPo batteries last longer than a tank of petrol, probably. Well, they don't, but they're cleaner and you just stick, you have four packs so you stick two in the car at one time. It's four about six S LiPo requires two three S batteries and you don't think to buy a six S LiPo battery. You can buy a four S LiPo battery. So two four S's make uh, eight S. So you have eight, uh, eight cell LiPo batteries. Very, very fast, you need them speed controller can handle it, the power, I need a low kilovolt motor. If you tried buying a 8S LiPo battery with an 8S speed controller with a 3000 plus KB battery, you're working at an overheated ESE and a melted motor. Your motor will go into meltdown mode because you need something like an 1800 KB motor on 6S. So on 8S you need even less kilovolt. It doesn't matter how low you go on the kilovolt. Apart from the radio control car won't go as fast, but you have to be safe at the same time. So I'll look up, I'll lower the gearing if you have 8S LiPo. I know there is a radio control car out there called Limitless, Armour Limitless. 
this tastes age less like but it's a food of an an armor armor or something armor make the very control car and it's a lightning or something limitless and they made another one i kratom is the other one i was thinking of that's a very fast remote control car I, that takes a test lipo as well so you just stick two four s lipo sticks in it which costs a lot of money themselves you're probably looking at 200 quid no not that much probably 150 quid for two four s batteries that's just the batteries alone for 250 quid but if you want to run it on 4S it will work if you want to run it on 8S it will work it won't overheat on 8S but I'd put a fan above the the uh, speed controller anyway because like a computer fan try a 8mm computer fan or even a 4mm computer fan if you can find one most computer fans are 80 millimeters. That's eight centimeters. So try and find an eight centimeter cooling fan. You have to wire it properly though, because it'll come with a Molex connector. And I'm not sure how you'd wire this to the to the EC ASC on a night on a brushless buggy. You have a receiver. You'd have to wire. You'd have to wire it to the receiver somehow. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. Anyway, this video is about my day so far today. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions you want to ask me. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And please comment below if you have any questions. And please subscribe to my channel if you wish. I'll have more videos for you very soon. Goodbye for now. Cheers all.